before I start the trim, I also like to know what exactly the thickness of the pattern before I start it. So uh, again, I'm going to use my measuring tool. Uh, so this one also is a little bit too wide, so my horizontal ruler is not going to fit. And again, I showed you before that you could uh, put two parallel bars, uh, any kind of parallel bar, like a, a wooden ball or even a plastic ruler, plastic ruler, and cross over. And uh, just place my um, the uh, horizontal ruler on top of it and check it. And this comes with uh, 45 millimeters. Okay, 45. And then uh, just uh, pick up the whole thing and then check the outside. And this come with uh, 56, 57, okay, 57. So 57 minus 45 is around 12, okay. So before I start, I already know how thick the bottom is. It's about uh, 12 millimeters, okay. All right, 12 millimeters. And my goal is to probably leave in the, the center part, uh, maybe within three to four millimeters. So meaning 12 minus eight will be four. So I could go eight millimeters deep. Okay. Before I trim, center, tap center, Right, and uh, use clay coil to secure it. Um, okay, so approximately, um, I'm going to make my foot ring here. So this will be my full ring. Um, I can remove the, the clay from the center and also the clay from the outside part. But since pattern or plate, the foot is wider. So sometimes if you don't have a support in the middle, it tend to, uh, uh, during the fire, it tend to uh, sink. So I will probably, uh, some people do put two uh, foot rings, one ring here and one ring there. But uh, uh, I, usually don't like too much rings there, so I will probably just have a, a support on the very middle and very center. So this part, the very center, I have a little clay in here, and then this will be the same level. This and this here is the same level. So uh, during the fire, there's a support in the middle, so the clay is not going to a slump. So this is my number two trimming tool. Uh, it's the material is carbide, okay, tungsten carbide. I have a regular one, uh, stainless steel. It's the same thing, but the, the carbide lasts longer. Uh, I've been using this for four months now, and I haven't uh, resharpened it yet. So it's, it lasts the sharp edge quite long. The uh, carbide is the uh, I would say the second hardest uh, material uh, behind um, diamond. So uh, that's why it, the the, uh, the edge holds longer, the sharp edge. So for my number two trimming tool, it, all the edges been beveled, so you can use all of them. See that I've turned in my 
two of this way so that the uh, corner is going to here to take care of this corner okay and then uh, I can turn this way so using the other side to uh, cut here and you can go from inside to outside and also you can go from outside to inside and also if your base is smaller actually you can use the uh, tip here so this part is also cuttable you can use that part to cut right before i go further uh, i'd like to check to see if that is the uh, right uh, depth so put my uh, ruler back on and then just check it here so now i have about five so I know I have three more to go. Okay, six, still two more to go. Right, so it's about right. So what I need to do is just uh, finish it up, a very final stage. Usually uh, I will speed up my wheel and uh, move the tool slowly so that it will uh, have a smoother surface. So um, my uh, strategy is usually I trim this part here uh, to get it to the right thickness. And then I will compare the uh, uh, inside corner and outside corner. That should be uh, at least the same level. We could, uh, since the, uh, the inside the inside of the uh, platter is a little curved, so it could also be a little bit lower than the inside. Otherwise, if you have outside higher and the inside lower, you know that this part is too thick so that's why you want to get this part right and to get that part right uh, you can tap it but if you use my uh, measuring tool you get exactly you don't you don't guess how thick the bottom is Sometimes I put my stem right here, right in the very center. So since the uh, platter is wide, so actually there's a little uh, resistance here. If you are uh, not push into uh, actually you don't need to have any uh, clay to hold it and I'm going to uh, just take care of that the rim part here um, put a little a little curve I'm using my number five uh, trimming tool there's a little curve to just fit right there
that's the uh, trimming of the plate I made uh, two days ago and uh, it's very uh, nice and even okay the bottom isn't too uh, thick um, just balance the the weight is very balanced okay and the uh, thickness is all the way evenly around So after putting the uh, black slip over my plate that I just trimmed, um, I like to do a little bit of an uh, experiment. Uh, you can go online and print out any kind of a, a, a picture or photo uh, and then uh, put it on white paper. And what I'm going to do is try to uh, trace it and then using the needle to trace the, the outline and use the uh, scofilo, uh to cover out more detail. So the uh, picture I try to put it right here. Right, so uh, I don't know if you can see it or not. It's uh, more or less I got the uh, uh, the picture to uh, put a little of an indentation, and then um, all you need to do is just use the uh, very fine um, uh, Scovito uh, tool to cut out the, the the line I just traced. And uh, here you can sh I'm showing you the uh, I have newly developed uh, three different kind of. Uh, Scofilo tools, uh, very fine, fine tip, and the medium and the large tip. So uh, I'm gonna put on my uh, Etsy shop uh, for people who are interested to uh, to buy the uh, Scofilo tools. Okay. So and then they all come with the uh, silicone slip, so it's easier to uh, to grab on your your hand and do the uh, carving. So I'm going to use the uh, medium size uh, Scovillo tool to do the carving. Maybe I need to uh, wait a little bit uh, after it's dry a little bit more.
Right, so this is the uh, result after I uh, trace it and then I use my Scofito uh, carving tool to cut uh, the one medium one for the outline and then uh, the uh, very fine uh, Scofito tool to draw the line in, in the middle, get the fine lines. Um, the whole composition looks good compared with the uh, my original uh, I just print it on the paper, piece of paper, and I trace it and use the tool to uh, cut out. The result is pretty good, yeah. So, it might be a, another possibility that if you don't know how to draw or how to paint, uh, you can get the picture from the internet, there are lots of them, and then uh, just find a, a simple one and then do the carving. Alright, so this concludes my demonstration. Hope this helped.